All right, welcome to another Meowmix tutorial here. Uh, let's make this quick because it's going to be hard cramming this into 10 minutes. Head to the internet. You're going to need to download GIMP first. I'd head to File Hippo, search for GIMP. The version they have available is 2.7.0 beta. That's uh, not the one I'm using. However, I'm sure they're all about the exact same. Uh, let me open up GIMP here. All right, now that GIMP's open, um, let me show you a few presents that I've prepared for you in the uh, download section. Uh, the first of which is a plugin that you're going to need for GIMP. It's called Indexed Palette Tools by Stratadrake.scm. Stratadrake takes all credit for this awesome plugin that he's developed. It basically gives us the ability to work with palettes the way that we do in Photoshop. According to his text file, you're going to drag and drop that to here Program Files, GIMP, Share, GIMP 2.0 Scripts. If that scripts folder isn't there, you're going to need to create one uh, and then shove that SCM fold, uh, file in there. And that'll uh, apply the plugin. Uh, if GIMP was open while you were doing that, you're going to need to close GIMP and reopen GIMP for the plugin to work uh, to refresh it and make sure that it's implemented. In order to see if it's working or not, click on Colors, Map, uh, Color Map to Palette. Should be sitting right here. If that's not there, then it didn't work. Um, if you have any questions about that, go ahead and comment. You shouldn't. It's pretty simple. Um, the other thing that I've given to you is this master list for indexing. This is really convenient. Um, what this is is a master indexing key. Uh, so, for example, we've got Mario One underscore Big, which is his default color uh, character portrait for when you're choosing your character on this character select screen. You're going to index that to 227 max. This is what Nintendo has indexed all of their um, images to and uh, is basically a, a number that we're not supposed to be able to go over in order for this to work. Um, most people on the internet will say to change it to 72 so that it works. Um, that's a bunch of bull crap. It can be much higher than 72 unless, of course, you're working with Mr. Game & Watch, in which case you're going to need to stay within you know, 35, 72, 64, 60, 61, 44, whatever in the heck you're working with. Anyway, this is kind of a good uh, roof level to be working with. In order to make this work, when you index something, uh, have it start out at you know a number below this or so and, and uh, keep going down by increments of 25 or 50 in order to find out what works for you. All right, uh, next, let's start opening stuff. Go to File, Open. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to open it up just kind of by scrolling through my files here. Um, let's see, you're going to need to go into Kupash, which you have probably downloaded before. If not, go to the Meowmix forums, figure out where it is, how to download it. I'm not going to give a link to it because it, the, the version changes so often, it's pretty much useless. Um, needed files, this is going to have a bunch of stuff for me, it probably doesn't for you, it really doesn't matter. The setup really doesn't matter. I'm going to click through here and show you exactly what I have. Um, but it's probably not going to be the same. This is the most important thing that you need to have. New files system, common5 underscore n.pack needs to be in here. Go ahead and find that on the wiki page most likely. Uh, this is something that uh, I've already done in the past. You probably won't have that. You won't have this either. Uh, anyway, the templates folder is the most important thing. If you've got the correct files inside of the needed files and the new files, templates uh, will appear after you've uh, ran step1 underscore extract dot bat. Templates uh, houses all of the TGA files that Nintendo has provided. So we've got, uh, let's find Mario1 underscore big.tga. Check it out. Here's what he looks like. That's the one we need. So let's drag and drop that into GIMP. We've got that there. Go ahead and uh, click on new because we need to have a space to be working with your screenshot that you've taken. Here we've got uh, a new little square here for your screenshot to work with. Let's go and find your screenshot. Let's grab a screenshot here. Uh, let's see here. Screenshots. CSP's Mario. Uh, let's work with Tuxedo Mario today. Okay, now after that's open, we need to create one more new thing. 128 by 160. Click OK. This is your new CSP that you're going to be creating here. Um, at this point, let's make sure that we have the square as our selection tool, not the paintbrush. Right click on this image, click on Layer, New from Visible. Uh, make sure that these two layers are not visible. Unclick the eyeball that you see off to the left here. Uh, the visible selection is here. Now let's use the 
uh, fuzzy select tool in order to get rid of this gray area behind Mario. Granted, I'm doing a very poor job at doing this. I'm just basically doing this so that you can see how to make things transparent. Uh, you're going to want to take more time than I did and make it a little more professional, make sure his hands don't get erased, etc., etc. Um, at this point, we're going to need to uh, index this image. So let's hit image mode indexed. And this dialog will pop up. Uh, 255 is not the correct thing. Remember that Mario's uh, big one image was 227 on our list that I gave you for download. Uh, however, we don't want 227. Let's do 225. That'll give us two extra colors to kind of work with so we can implement magenta. Now at this point, we're going to need to do colors, map, color map to palette. This will add our color map that we have to our palette here. If you don't see this palette window, you're going to need to click on Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and then click on Palettes in order for it to show up. Um, scroll up to the top here. I've done this multiple times. My computer is frozen a million times doing this. So anyways, I've done it four or five times. Anyway, uh, it should be called Untitled at the very top. Index to a number of 225. Next, we're going to set the foreground color to magenta. Uh, get it as close as you can initially, and then change the RGB to 255, 0, and then 255, as you can see here, here, and here. Click OK. Now, let's right-click on the palette that we wanted to edit. It should be called Untitled. Edit Palette. As you can see, we have 255 colors here on this uh, square ch table here. Right-click on the first black square. Uh, down at the bottom that basically means it doesn't have a color assigned to that square. New color from the foreground. We'll change that color to magenta. Click Save in the bottom left hand corner. Exit out of that. Now our palette is ready for our image over here. Click inside of this image area here. Grab your paint bucket tool and fill it with magenta. After doing that we're going to need to copy our Mario image from over here and put it into this image over here. Now as you can see our Mario image is a little bit bigger than uh, our, our uh, magenta square that we have here. In Photoshop to do the transform uh, transform the selection it's control T. However in GIMP it is shift T. So hit shift T and that'll bring up this. Uh, you may need to make it even bigger so that you can kinda see exactly what you're doing here. Um, you're just gonna basically shrink Mario to the size that you want. Holding down control will keep his size aspect ratio in sync so it doesn't get all squampus like this. Um, now that it's the size that you want it to be, go ahead and hit enter. Hit enter again. Oh, okay, you don't need to hit enter twice, but anyways. Um, now I'm going to click just on the outside of this so it stops selecting it. Now I've got Mario inside of this magenta square. Um, now we need to apply the new color palette. To do that, we're going to need to do tools. I oh, know, just kidding. Image, mode, indexed, just kind of like we did on the last one, except instead of doing this, we're going to use a custom palette. Click on this, scroll up to that palette that we used just barely. It should be the one named Untitled with an index number of 226 since we added magenta. Hit convert. Ta da! We're done. Now let's save it. Uh, let's go ahead and put it uh, wherever you've got the rest of them. Well, actually, let's put it in a specific spot. Let's put it in, go to find your Kupash folder. Mine's buried down here somewhere. And in the new files folder, we're going to save it as Mario1 underscore big dot TGA. Um, as you can see, my title is up here, Mario1 underscore big dot TGA. In order, if it doesn't show as big dot TGA, uh, go ahead and click on select file type by extension and scroll down. Click on TGA, save it, run step two, and you're done. No, I'm just kidding. You're not done. I just realized I had a few more seconds. So anyways, uh, after you've saved it to this location, you're going to run step two by going back to here. Click on step two to create. I don't have time to run it myself, uh, but after it's been done, you click inside of new files and info menu system. You're going to copy these puppies. Copy. Then you're going to open up your SD card and head into private Wii app RSBE PF and then paste it right here. After you've pasted it right there, you're going to need to change the file inside of system to common5.pack and then you're done.